Welcome to Warping Fist. The Flash is known as one of the fastest characters in the DC Universe, or in fiction in general. His speed is so immense that he can transcend multiverses and even time itself. Despite how fast the character is, the same can't be said for the productions of his films. Warner Brothers has been attempting to make a Flash film ever since the late 1980s, and each attempt has ended in failure. This is due to WB's ideal vision for the project, which has caused them to clash with every director that's ever been attached. However, eventually, Warner Brothers finally got the film off the ground, with Andy Muschietti bringing this Flash film to life. Let's take a look at the long development history of The Flash and why it took so long to get this film off the ground. Let's get started. A scarlet costume ejects from his ring, and in a blur of motion, police scientist Barry Allen becomes The Flash. World's In the late 1980s, DC weren't exactly known for making use of their library of characters, with most of their films consisting of Batman, Whoa! Superman, and strangely, Swamp Thing. Say hello to your boyfriend, baby. It was around this time that Warner would begin early development on a Flash movie. They would hire writer Jeff Loeb to pen the screenplay for this film. This was the earliest known attempt to bring a Flash film to life. However, for whatever reason, the film would never leave the scripting stages. A couple of years later, in the wake of the massive success of Batman Begins and the Sam Raimi Spider-Man films, Warner would regain interest in their intellectual properties. Seeing the sheer potential of their other DC characters, Warner would revive their long-dead Flash film and would greenlit a series of other DC projects as well. Being highly impressed on his work on Batman Begins, Warner would hire David S. Goyer to both write and direct the film in December of 2004. Goyer in an interview stated that Flash was his favorite DC property and how the character had massive potential for cinematic storytelling. Goyer wanted to tell a Flash story that no one has seen before, one that was weird but also filled with heart. In fact, he took inspiration from the Raimi Spider-Man films when it came to the type of tone he was aiming for. He was also interested in casting Ryan Reynolds as Wally West, who Goyer envisioned as the protagonist of the film. This was a film that explored the legacy aspects of The Flash, one that was yet to be explored on film at the time. Unfortunately, David Goyer would clash with Warner over the creative direction of the film, with Warner deciding to not move forward with his version. Goyer was understandably upset by this decision, stating that he truly thought his Flash film had the potential to be groundbreaking. With Goyer leaving the project, Warner would hire Chris Brancato to write a new draft of the script, using some elements from Goyer's script. Night of the Museum director Sean Levy was also hired as the new director of the film. Levy envisioned his Flash film as much more light-hearted than the other DC and Marvel films at the time, and due to his track record of acclaimed films, he seemed like the perfect choice to bring this character to life. A couple of days later, Warner would announce that they were working on a brand new Justice League film which was currently being written by Michelle and Key Wait. You already used this joke, you stupid mother or illiterate ass -wa This new Justice League film was envisioned as the start of a brand new DC franchise, with Justice League characters spinning off into their own films. It's unknown if Sean Levy's Flash film would have been connected to Justice League, but if it was, we knew that actor Adam Brody would have been cast in the lead role, since he was also set to portray the Flash in Justice League Mortal. Unfortunately, due to scheduling conflicts, Levy would drop out of the project, once again causing The Flash to be put on hold. Craig Wright would be brought on as the new writer 
to once again write a new draft of the script. With a new writer also means a new director and David Dobkin would be the man to take over the film. In an interview with MTV, David Dobkin would confirm that his Flash film would have been set in the Justice League Mortal universe and would have focused on Wally West in a story that involved him attempting to outrun himself, maybe hinting at the emotional journey the character would have been through. The film was now scheduled for a 2008 release alongside Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight. Despite several delays in the past, it seemed now that Warner could actually get this film off the ground, jumpstarting an entirely new DC universe with many new films. Unfortunately, this Flash film, which was supposed to be a spin-off from Justice League Mortal, would be either cancelled or postponed due to the 2007 and 2008 Writers Guild of America strike. With the cancellation of Justice League Mortal from this event, it began to seem redundant to make a spin-off Flash film, and even Warner began to lose confidence in the property. This is especially true when a new producer, Charles Roven, came into the project. He would state that Warner were not very confident in the current Flash script that was being written at the time and that there was no way they would greenlit this version of the film. However, despite the producer stating this, the current new writer at the time, Dan Mazou, would proceed to debunk what Charles Roven stated, claiming that The Flash was still moving forward as planned and that there was nothing for fans to worry about. Dan Mazou's screenplay was based off a treatment written by Jeff Johns, who was also consulting in the scripting process. However, months later in June of 2010, Warner would once again hire a series of new writers, Greg Berlanti, Michael Green, and I can't pronounce that name. There is a chance that this Flash film existed in the same universe as Green Lantern, but it's unknown if Green Lantern was meant to jumpstart a brand new cinematic universe. If it did, its huge financial and critical failure caused Warner Brothers to distance themselves from the film. The Flash film would lay dormant for a couple of years after its quiet cancellation. With the release of Man of Steel, Warner Brothers was now developing a brand new DC universe, with Zack Snyder serving as its new architect. On October 15th of 2014, Warner would announce their new slate of films as part of an investor's call. This slate would include a brand new Flash movie set to release on March 23rd of 2018, with Ezra Miller cast as Barry Allen. At first, Warner would approach James Wan to helm the project, but they would also offer him Aquaman as an alternative. Wan would ultimately choose Aquaman because he felt that the character was underrepresented in media. Phil Lord and Chris Miller would then become attached as the new writers of the film, with the possibility of directing the film as well. However, they would ultimately decide to direct a different film. Seth Grandsmith primarily known for his best-selling novels, would be hired to direct the film. The Flash would have served as his directorial debut as he mostly worked on novels and the script for the Lego Batman film. Charles Roven, who was attached a couple of years ago, would also once again produce this film, with Deborah and Zack Snyder serving as executive producers. However, Seth Graham Smith would later exit the project due to creative differences with the studio, but he would still be attached to the film in some way and Warner would retain his script instead of scrapping it. In June of 2016, director Rick Femiwa would be hired to take over directing duties and he seemed like a very popular choice to take over the film at the time. For one thing, Femiwa was known for directing many acclaimed indie films and according to Deadline, his vision for the film not only perfectly resonated with younger audiences, but his vision was also compatible with the script written by Seth Grand Smith. At the time, Rick Femiwa's Flash film seemed to be the one that was closest to begin production, mainly due to the fact that Femiwa began casting actors for supporting roles, such as Kiersey Clemens as Iris West, Billy Crudup as Henry Allen, and Ray Fisher was also set to make an appearance in the film. 
Femiwa had also recently finished a new draft of the script, and the film was set to begin filming in London later that year, on track for a 2018 release date. Unfortunately, Femiwa would leave the project due to creative differences with the studio, which seems to happen a lot. He would state that him and Warner could not agree on which direction to take the film, as Femiwa envisioned a more dark and edgy film compared to Warner's more light-hearted approach. With Femiwa gone, Warner would postpone the film once again and be on the lookout for a new director. Warner would approach many new directors to take over the project. However, among the directors approached, only two of them would show interest. Despite expressing interest in directing the film, both of them could not come on the project right away due to scheduling conflicts. At this point in time, The Flash had underwent yet another rewrite from Dan Mazu and Joby Harold. These rewrites highlighted a brand new direction that Warner wanted to take the film. The Flash would be renamed to Flashpoint and it would serve as a pseudo adaptation of the seminal comic. In January 2018, John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein would become attached as the film's new directors, as Warner were unwilling to wait for Matthew Vaughn and Robert Zemeckis. However, despite the film getting new directors, Ezra Miller would heavily disagree with the direction the duo wanted to take the film, and in a shocking twist of fate, would team up with Grant Morrison to create a counterscript to compete with what Warner had in mind. Unfortunately, Ezra's attempts would be in vain, as Warner Brothers would reject him and Morrison's script. John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein would also drop out of the film, likely being disheartened by Ezra's clear retaliation and disdain for their vision. Luckily, Warner would immediately find replacements in the form of Andy Muschietti, who would take over the film and use a new script written by Christina Hudson. Now it's clear that every director who's ever left the Flash film left due to some kind of creative clash with Warner Brothers. It seemed like Warner had a particular vision for how to approach a Flash film, and every director somehow strayed from that vision, causing them to fight with Warner over the direction they should take the film. Warner had a particular vision for the Flash film, one in which they were not willing to compromise on, no matter what. According to producer Charles Reuven, Warner wanted to explore a film that took into account the entire DC Universe. Grant Morrison also claimed that Warner wanted to explore the multiverse and include other DC characters. To put it simply, Warner Brothers wanted to create a Flash film that was light-hearted in tone and included several major DC characters in its story. They clearly envisioned Flash as an event film one that would bring countless DC characters into a singular film. 